Well, I just miss out one day but there are tons of hot news and rumors about Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins was supposed to exchange number 6 pick for the number 4 with the Falcons, number 18 picks for number 26 with the Browns. Dolphins have new training facility which cost $135 million. Dolphins rival expects big things from Tua Tungavailoa. Subscribe and let's go. Miami Dolphins exchange picks in 2021 NFL Draft? Is it true? One thing for sure. Miami Dolphins will not exchange number 6 picks for the Falcons' fourth pick. Why? We all know that Dolphins got out of third, in exchange for future first picks. At number 6, Miami Dolphins absolutely can choose a top prospect among all players and in all positions. WR, Edge, OL, RB, LB. So, what about getting out of the 18th pick? The Miami Dolphins need to have themselves a difficult conversation about this month's 2021 NFL Draft. Every decision you make regarding players to invest in is challenging. There are a slew of dynamics at play for every selection that cause ripple effects throughout the rest of your roster, so no decision should be taken lightly. But the Dolphins have an even more unenviable decision to make with the number 18 overall selection at the end of the month. Do you draft a high-value position like pass rusher and run the risk of missing out on a running back that could greatly boost your running game? Or do you draft the running back to address need and hope for the best in finding someone to boost your pass rush? Miami won't have to wait too long for their next scheduled pick at number 36 overall, but there's a reasonable chance that the team's preferred target at either spot will not be there the next time they come around in the queue. If the Dolphins are committed to upgrading the pass rush, they'd likely be wise to stay put at number 18 and make the pick, be it Najee Harris, Jalen Phillips or Javonta William. The demand for pass rushers will get turned up quite quickly in this draft and the Dolphins currently have the proverbial high ground against a potential run. But if Miami wants to draft a running back, exploring a trade-down situation may be in the best cards for Miami. The Dolphins' roster overhaul is well underway and while the team is unlikely in a position to cater to an addition 12-plus player rookie class this season, Miami is currently sorely lacking in Day 3 selection. The Dolphins, who own four top 50 picks and five in the top 100, have just three selections the rest of the way, one in the fifth round and two in the seventh round. A trade down from 18 would be a prime opportunity for the Dolphins to manufacture additional picks to get more swings of the bat in this year's draft class. And, best of all, if you trade Don from 18 and still manage to ensure you land your running back of choice, the Dolphins will presumably have finessed their draft positioning twice in the first round, given that the Dolphins presumably traded back up in the draft order after trading out of the number 3 overall pick to ensure they'd be in position to draft the same player they coveted at number 3 overall anyway. Securing the same players you'd draft at number 3 and number 18 overall but getting both in later slots while adding more picks is one heck of a way to open an NFL draft. We'll see if Chris Greer and the Dolphins have an appetite for such an approach here in the coming weeks. Dolphins' new practice facility appears ready for action in latest look. Happy trails, Davey. The Miami Dolphins are making a big move this offseason, moving south from Davey and into their new practice facility, which is located on site next to the team's home field, Hard Rock Stadium. The move, which is rooted in a $135 million investment to give the Dolphins a state-of-the-art practice facility, will be ready for the 2021 season meaning we've seen the last of Miami hosting training camp at the Baptist Health Training Facility at Nova Southeastern University. What does a $135 million investment into a new training facility look like? Take a look for yourself. We've gotten our best look at the Dolphins' new facility yet thanks to the Athletics' Josh Tolentino sharing a recent video from Instagram that offers a glimpse at both the outdoor fields and indoor facilities. Miami will break in their new facilities this offseason in what has been described by Dolphins Vice Chairman, President and CEO Tom Garf um Garfinkel as the next step in the evolution of the Dolphins organization when the plans were first revealed nearly two years ago. I think, a new training facility, came more to a head about a year ago, in 2017, and became something we discussed more seriously and now that the stadium is closer to being completed, it was like, What's the next step in the evolution of the organization to really be best in class?" said Garfinkel. And every year we've had needs, in Davy, 
and we've sort of just put band-aids on and we just decided we needed to build a first-class facility. The waiting period is now over, as you can see for yourself. Miami's first opportunities to break in the new digs are right around the corner. Dolphins rival expects big things from Tua Tungavailoa. You've heard plenty this offseason about what nearly everyone on the outside of the NFL thinks of Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa. There's been no lack of criticism and optimism alike, depending on where you look. But getting some opinions from those inside the league is a great way to get a different gauge on the Tungavailoa experience in Miami, and thanks to the Chris Collinsworth podcast featuring Richard Sherman, we now have a sense of how one prominent Buffalo Bills defender feels about Miami's second-year quarterback. Trey Davius White joined the podcast this week to discuss a slew of topics but the conversation turned quite interesting for Dolphins fans upon the discussion about the team's quarterback situation. White offered a significant level of praise and optimism for not just Tungavailoa, but also the Dolphins' rebuilding effort as a whole. Things got kicked off when Collinsworth asked White if he felt Miami could take a quarterback at number 6 overall. I don't th I just feel like they have so much confidence in Tua. You know. Go back to last year even when Fitz, Ryan Fitzpatrick, was coming in and relieving him and winning games, the next week they always go back to Tua. They got their guy. I think that they're gonna give him the whole year of just, you know, the whole offseason to get more comfortable and do his thing," said White. Like you said, Miami has a nice team. How they orchestrated things, they have a nice defense, they got a lot of pieces on the outside, they just added Will Fuller, a fast guy, they have Devontae Parker over there and he's going to catch the 50-50 balls, too. Ellipsis. He has the weapons and I think that it's just going to take him getting comfortable. We all know what he can do, what he did at Alabama the last three years. And then coming in and having the injury. Going forward, I think Tua will be Miami's guy. They invested a lot into him and they got pieces around him. This is the year where they figure out if he can carry and carry a team and I think he will. The Dolphins are presumably not done with overhauling the offense, either. The question of how good the finished product will be hinges on a couple of different variables. How quickly can the new pieces mesh with the existing foundation? And, just as importantly, how big of a jump can Tungavailoa make in year two?